Hello everybody, it's AFOL Nation here and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Cloud Rider Swoop Bike Set or Set 75215. This is a really cool set from the Solo movies. It comes with 355 pieces and three minifigures. So let's see how it holds up to the three categories that I gauge each set against. Okay guys, so the first category is price. The list price new for this set was $29.99. I ended up finding it at Walmart on clearance for $15. And um, I gotta say, even at the $29.99 list price, for three minifigures, I'm pretty sure Emphis Nest here and Weasel are both exclusive to this set only. Um, so with those two exclusive minifigures, and actually they might have, uh, Emphis Nest might have came in the Conveyx Transport, but regardless, with this amount of minifigures and 355 pieces, $29.99 is not a bad price at all. Um, great price per piece ratio. Uh, you get some super cool minifigures that build super cool. So no real complaints on the price. Let's go ahead and get on to the next category. Okay, everybody. So the next category we're going to be taking a look at is the build. And uh, we'll take a look at Weasel's speeder first. Uh, it's a really cool design here with like, a, uh, like an old school sidecar. Uh, to carry an extra passenger as you can see there's a seat right there for an extra passenger or to carry um, some cargo here uh, I really like the build uh, you get a of course a stud shooter on the side there um, these are all sticker pieces so there's six stickers just on that piece of the set um, but I like the shapes that they have used I, I really like the design of the engine here, how you put a bunch of these little, um, I can't remember the name of them, but you, you clamp all these around and then just twist them in, and um, super cool build on the engines there. Uh, I like how they got their little um, handles to actually pilot the speeder. Um, another thing I like is how they call them swoop bikes. That's a that's kind of an old school thing in Star Wars. I think I remember that being in the original Knights of the Old Republic one and two games where you could uh, race swoop bikes. But another stud shooter over here, um, super cool build. I mean, not a whole lot to look at or say. This can actually be detached. This is the uh, refined coaxium, refined coaxium from the movie here. And uh, I, I think that's pretty accurate to how it looks in the movie, too. Pretty cool. Just a couple of uh, silver studs there, if I can get it to focus, around a trans light blue piece in this box. Super cool build, and that can just stud right down here. Oh, maybe. So um, the build is super sturdy, too. I mean, you can see it's on these two little axles, so you could actually twist this if you wanted to. Also, it would not be that hard to actually just detach the entire sidecar if you just wanted Weasel to have his own uh, solo speeder like Infus Nest does back there, but super cool build on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Infus Nest speeder. Uh, the engines are different, but still super cool on this build. I like the angles they got there. Actually, I like the angles they got on the whole speeder. You can see it from the back. It's got a... They use some cool techniques to get that in there. I like how they uh, stack the studs up here to get almost like an engine look. You get a stud shooter on each side of it that's actually built into it, uh, which I actually like how this looks on this set. Uh, once again, you got six stickers. Um, not the funnest things to put on, but there you go. Uh, you also, I, I don't like how they did this part. You got the fin in the back. This is the ugly side for sure. And then this side has the studs and a nice sticker. I wish they would have figured out a way to mirror what this looks like on both sides. Um, that would have been really cool if they would have done that. But still a pretty good looking speeder. I really like how they did um, like the driving mechanism here. Uh, this is actually completely adjustable forward and backwards. It's got two points of um two points of movement on there but yeah super cool build on there no complaints really um no big complaints with either of the sets but um super cool oh one more thing i did want to mention on weasel's speeder is i really like how they got like these back seats here i'm guessing 
but they give it to look almost like the motorcycles um, where you have a little miniature backrest back there. So I guess probably in the movie, you could probably fit four people on this thing, but I like how they did that also. But let's go ahead and move on to the last category, which is the minifigures. Okay, everybody. So like I said, the third and final category is going to be the minifigures of the set. The set comes with three, and from right to left will go it goes Tobias Beckett, Infus Nest, and Weasel. We'll go ahead and start off with Weasel here. Uh, you can see his weapon of choice is a blaster with a little, um, with of course the binoculars added on to the end there. I've always liked these little gun builds that they give some of the characters. Here is Weasel himself. Uh, he has the shortest version of the Lego legs. Uh, some pretty cool back printing and torso printing. Um, I like how they've added in some like fur detailing, especially along the top of his back there. Um, also, super cool helmet design here. That's an awesome mold. And then his head, if you can see it, if I can get it to focus, his head actually has a little bit of like, it's hard to even see in person, but he's got a little bit of like dark brown printing with a little bit of a print there. And and that is because his helmet is actually um, cut up a little bit there. So you can actually see that printing uh, where the helmet cuts out. So super awesome minifigure. We'll go to Beckett next. He comes dual wielding these silver colored blasters, which are super cool. Go ahead and take those off. Um, I love the printing on Beckett. Uh, he's got his trench coat on, like that tan trench coat and the gloves. Uh, the trench coat prints all the way down from the torso to the belt, down to the legs. Um, pretty basic on the back, but the detailing on the front is just very, very cool. He's got, I think, what might be an exclusive hair piece to him. Kind of got a widow's peak on there. And I think he does not have a secondary face, as you can see, but... There is the only face he has. I think it looks all right for Woody Harrelson. Um, and the last minifigure, of course, is Infus Nest herself. So here is the weapon she comes with. She's got like the little harpoon piece into a lightsaber into a machete, it looks like. But I guess it's uh, it's pretty similar to what she carries and fights with in the movie. Um, here is her... And this, I believe, is going to be one of those many figures that is um, fairly valuable in the future. Um, just the mold of the helmet, these are actually like kind of rubber pieces, so they're not going to break easily. The printing on the helmet is super cool, super accurate to the movie. The printing on the torso, belt, and legs is just awesome there. Also, a little bit of back printing, if you can see up under there. You can see some negative space cut away on the front and back because she is a woman. Um, also, the cape here is just awesome. They print a little bit of fur on the cape. It is black with the fur printing on the outside and kind of a burnt orange color on the inside, as you can see. And then the only issue I have with this character is they did not print her a face. And she had a fairly distinct face in the movie. Uh, some freckles, you know, and like a ponytail. It would have been really cool if they would have actually printed her face on here instead of just a black head, but that's fine. I mean, the, the rest of the figure definitely makes up for it, but if they do ever recreate this figure, I think that's what they would change. They would just update the face on her, but that's all the minifigures, guys. Let's go ahead and finish up the video. Okay, everybody, so my final thoughts on the set are that it is awesome. I think... If you can still find this set in your local store, you should definitely buy it. It's a super cool set to have. I like having the two speeder bills. They're super unique, uh, pretty accurate to the movie, and uh, just fun builds all together. I've never seen anything like the uh, Weasel speeder bike build with the sidecar here, especially in the Star Wars universe. Um, 
You get super cool builds, super cool minifigures, and the price is just perfect, um, especially if you can find it on sale like I did. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like it and uh, subscribe if you want more like this. I, I release a video every single Monday and Friday afternoon with some extra videos thrown in there on Wednesday occasionally. So um, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.